is Best Country Music and Will Cody in the Morning. My name is Cody Schuler, your play-by-play -play announcer and color commentator for this evening. Thank you so much for joining me and the game tonight. You can also stream us live on 923WFKN.com, or you can watch the ball game and hear me on Franklin Simpson Channel 9 streaming on Facebook. We are here in beautiful downtown Franklin, Kentucky at Franklin Simpson High School's Greg Shelton Baseball Field to watch our Wildcats take on the Warren East Raiders. Our Wildcats are coming off a 3-7 to seven loss versus the Glasgow Scotties from Saturday here at home and currently sit with a 4-3 and three winning record on the season, while the Raiders are carrying a 5-4 and four winning record into tonight's matchup. Senior second baseman number 8 and Murray State signee Brevin Scott is still sitting atop the team lead for RBI with 11 so far. Junior catcher number 20, Griff Benton, has also been lighting it up from the batter's box and hitting a very good 368 average so far on the year through seven games. While junior pitcher number 22, Gavin Link, has been leading the team from the bump starting two games so far, appearing in three and tied for the team lead in strikeouts with 11. We also have to give some love to senior number 13, Carmine Cook, a.k.a. Cookie. Cookie has also started two games, appearing in three, and tied with Link for the team lead with 11 strikeouts as well. Cook has also apparently done some serious work over the offseason with a jump that has been astronomical from last year to this year. Congratulations on that hard work, young man. It has not gone not gone unnoticed, and we're all very proud of you. The Wildcats head into spring break next week, so we'll have the week off all next week long. But we will be moving forward right here and right now. So now it's time to meet our starters first up for the Warren East Ra Raiders. Their head coach is Wes Sanford. Leading off for the Raiders is going to be pitcher tonight on the bump, number three, Aiden Barrick. Followed by number five, the shortstop, Brendan Bratcher. Right field, then followed 18, up by that in the number three hole is going to be number 20, the left fielder, Maddox Terrence. And then base, number seven, Kaven Hinton, the catcher. He's going to be calling it from behind the plate tonight. Then by number, number 25, seven, number 25 is going to be the DH, William Second Alexander. Then eight, right Brandon fielder, number Scott. 15, Andrew Barbalus. And then That's it's going to be number, number six, offer. Brendan Bratcher. And then after that's going to be number 24, Grant White, followed up by number one. And number one is going to be, oh, I got a wrong number there. My apologies. Number six, Micah Ford, the center fielder for the Raiders. Then after that, we're going to have our starters for the Franklin Simpson Wildcats. But here comes our national anthem. So we're going to pause for one-minute break. All right, Kendra, I'm back in action here. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the South Warren Spart. I apologize. The Warren East 
Raiders out of Bowling Green. I'm Cody Schuler, and you are listening to 92.3 WFKN. You can also find us live on 923WFKN.com and watch the game on Franklin Simpson Channel 9, streaming it on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We've got a very nice evening here for baseball, nice and warm, about 65 degrees, a little bit of overcast, but you know what? It's always a beautiful day for baseball. Lots of wind here in the Franklin area, and that wind is carrying it is heading straight from left to right here at the ball field. And let's get right into our Franklin Simpson Wildcat starting lineup here. Leading off for the Wildcats is going to be shortstop number seven, Brady Delk, followed by catcher number 20, Griff Banton, followed by senior second baseman number eight, Brevin Scott, followed up by number six, Braxton Jenkins. Braxton's going to be dh for us tonight, followed up by number Three. Who is number three? Where's that at on here? Oh, my apologies. I got that messed up. Oh, that's Lane Alford. Lane's going to be playing first base for us tonight. And followed up by that is going to be number one, third baseman Garrett Sattler. Then it's going to be number 18, right fielder, Boy Blankenberg. Then after that is going to be left fielder, number 16, Cody Alexander. Followed up at the end of the lineup is going to be number five, center fielder, Hunter Jones. And from the bump again for us tonight is going to be junior number 22, Gavin Link. Gavin, I've been told, might have cut off his Samson-like power. He got a haircut. Young man's out here sporting what's kind of like a mullet. But you know what? Still a good-looking kid, so I'm not worried about it tonight. Leading off here is going to be the pitcher for the Warren East Raiders, left-hander, Aiden Barrick. Aiden has been a monster at the plate. Strike one, painting the outside corner there is Gavin Link. Aiden hitting 467 on the year with two home runs already. Yet to strike out on the season. That's a hard hit ball right at, a line shot right at. My buddy Brevin Scott out there on second base, he... Fields it cleanly, fires it over to Alford, and we are all set with one up, one down, one away here in the top of the first inning. Next up's going to be number five, Brendan Bratcher, playing shortstop, right-hander. Steps in really on top of that plate here. Here's the windup and the pitch. Swung on. That's going to be a bloop into right field. Found some green grass. Stand up single for Bratcher. Scott couldn't track it down. Now back for the Raiders, number 21, Maddox Terrence. And Blankenberg was too far out. Next up, it's going to be number 21, left fielder, Maddox Terrence for Warren East. Warren East in these powder blue uniforms, yellow stripes. Good looking breaking ball. Gavin, got to give it to Warren East here. Great looking uniforms. While well, our Franklin Simpson Wildcats on the all white unis. Oh, and we've got a bulk called here. Gavin stepped off the, the rubber there and Looked like he was going to attempt the pickoff and decided not to throw it as Bratcher was already on his way back to first base. And Sid Albert, the umpire out in the field, decided he thought it was a bulk. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a shot right at Brady Delk. And he looks the runner right back to second base for out number two. Now batting for the Raiders, number seven, Capen Hinton. Next up for the Raiders is going to be number seven, Caven Hinton, catching for the Raiders tonight. As I was saying before, Wildcats with cats in the script across their chests, blue caps out here tonight. Right-hander Hinton ste steps into the box. Swung on, first pitch swinging. I'll tell you what. The Raiders are not afraid to swing the bats. Each guy has gone up here and taken their cuts.
Hinton gets a word from his coach, and he's right back in the box now. Tonight would be a left-handed hitter's dream. Here's the pitch. Right on the inside corner. Paint the corner so far is Link. Gavin has been much more comfortable this year throwing inside to hitters as opposed to his sophomore season last year. Here's the pitch. Down and out in the dirt. Banton picks it up. A little bit of a fumble there. Bratcher thought about trying to take off for third and thought better. One ball, two strikes, two away here in, in the top of the first inning. Runner in scoring position. Position on second. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. Ring him up and sit him down. Gavin, a great piece of pitching there to lead off the top of the first inning. Wildcats all locked up here going into the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Just a one hitter there in the top of the first inning. You're listening to 92.3 WFKN. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders. I'm Cody Schuler, and you're listening to 92.3 WFKN. You can also find us live on 923WFKN.com or watch the game on Franklin Simpson Channel 9 streaming on Facebook. And I certainly appreciate you joining us for Wildcat Baseball here on a Monday night. Wildcats came out here in the top of the first inning, gave up just one hit. A little bloop out to right field. But now, they're right back up here to bat. Looking at left-hander Aiden Barrick from Warren East. Left-handed pitchers. You just don't, you don't get a whole lot of them, it seems like, around here in, in high school baseball anymore. But this young man looks like he is bringing the heat pretty well for a lefty. We're going to be leading off with sophomore shortstop. Number seven, Brady Delk. Brady had a fantastic freshman campaign. Hitting just 286 so far on the young season through seven games. I think Brady was hitting up about 400 by the end of last year. He was in the running for that batting average title. Was anchoring the Defense out there from shortstop by the end of last season. Looking good so far. Takes a strike one low and inside from Barrick. The lefty has a quick, no-nonsense kind of windup. Ball low there, 1-1 one, one count now. None away here in the bottom of the first inning. Lots of rally coming out of the Wildcats. Dugout takes ball two, low and outside. Coach Will Hyde out on third base, giving the signal. This sophomore shortstop. Looks like the wind is going to continue to be a thing all night long. Here's the pitch. That one's down in the dirt. 3-1 count now to Delk. It's also a, also a thing so 
theme so far that we've noticed with our Wildcats, and that's that they're looking to make pitchers work so far this season. That one's a chopper right over the top of Barrick's head. It's going to be a base hit to lead off the game here for the Wildcats. Next up's going to be catcher number 20, Griff Banton. Banton hitting 368 so far, leading the team in batting average. Right hander. Ooh, great pickoff move there by the lefty, but Delk is safe first. Kind of remind you of the late 90s, early 2000s, Andy Pettit pickoff maneuver there from the New York Yankees. Apparently he's done his homework. Oh. That one's down past, and Delk will advance. Wild pitch there for Barrick. He appeared to be very capable of having the balls get away from him during his warm-ups. Sometimes they're just out there trying to get loose and they can get away from him, but here it happens to him in the game. Runner now in scoring position. Here's pitch. That's going to be a strike. 1-1 one, one count now, none away. Runner on second base here in the bottom of the first inning. 0-0 zero, zero game. And we've got the lights on. Barrick sits. That's going to be a ball low. Good eye by Banton. Lay off of that one. 2-1 two, one count. Barrick so far does not like pitching from the stretch as much as he did with a windup. That's going to be a foul ball. Foul back up above the net. Big cut there by Banton. 2-2 two -two count now. Banton, the voice behind the plate for the Wildcats. Looking to put one on the scoreboard. Here's the pitch. That's going to be right back at the shortstop. And, oh, he bobbles it. Bratcher bobbles it and doesn't even get the throw off. And Banton is safe. Next up for the Wildcats. With the hammer. Number, number eight. Second baseman, senior leader here coming up. Brevin Scott. Two on, none away. Bottom of the first inning. Let's see if the Wildcats can capitalize. Looking to get on top of Aiden Barrick early. Barrick has just appeared in one game so far pitching. Coming off a long weekend. Are the Raiders shows bunt, lays it down the first baseline. A beautiful bunt. Gets tagged out on his way to first base. Gets a round of applause from his coaches. Rightfully so. That thing just... Went right down the chalk. Could not have lined it up any better. Runners advance to second and third. A little bit of small ball there. Moving the runners. Looking to put runs on the board. Next up is going to be Jenkins. That thing's going to be right back to the pitcher. And he's going to send it over to first. Out number two. Now here we are with two away. Now batting for the Wildcats, number three, Lane Alford. Next up for the Wildcats, first baseman, number three, Lane Alford. Lane hitting 385 so far on the season.
One RBI so far. Let's see if he can make it two or three. Takes ball one. Bratcher is set now. Looking to get out of the jam. Timeout. Steps out of the box, collects himself. Regrips his bat. Now he's ready to go. Looks like Barrick is going to stick with his pitch. Sets. Now he's going to step off. A little bit of mis miscommunication there looked like between him and his catcher after they were set. 1-0 count. Two away. Two on. In scoring position. Runners on second and third. Here's the pitch. He's going to take ball low. And Hinton wants to talk it over with Barrick now. You could see the miscommunication happening and what they wanted to do. And our home plate umpire, Don Johnson, he wants to tell these fellas to get a move on. It's a lot of communication there for what they're going to throw. Maybe they got signals mixed up. As I said before, Barrick has only appeared in one game so far for the Raiders and it just lasted for one out of an inning was all. Probably a relief. So ho hopefully they can get on on page here. It's going to be a ball outside. Almost got past him. Good job by the catcher there to get his glove over there. Save that one. Saved a run certainly from scoring. Resets. Barrick likes, likes the pitch. Here it comes. It's going to be ball low in the dirt again. And he's going to take a ball four walk. Next up for the Wildcats, number one, Garrett Sadler. Next up for the Wildcats is going to be third baseman, number one, Garrett Sadler. Garrett hitting 333 on the year. Two RBIs. Be a big time hit here if he can find some green grass. Here's the pitch. He's going to take ball one. A little low and outside. Just a little bit of a control problem so far for Barrick. Here's the pitch. Now it's going to be. Ball outside and high. Wildcats are letting him hear it right now, and here comes the head coach for the Raiders. Head coach Wes Sanford for the Raiders. See if he can figure this one out. The Raiders spent the weekend here in Franklin. Won the Classic tournament, I'm told. Defeated the Glasgow Scotties to win that weekend tournament title. A little bit of a conversation there between Sadler and Coach Will Height. Getting his hitter ready. Trying to make a big impact. Don Johnson is out to the mound. A little bit of enough talking there. Everybody's ready to play ball. You can smell those delicious ballpark hot dogs coming through the windows here from the booth. All right, Barrick is set. Right back, ready to play ball again. Shrugs his shoulders. Here's the pitch. Ball low and inside. Offered a little bit of a leisure, leisurely stroll getting back to first base there. and The... Uh, First baseman, Grant White, gave him a little bit of a nudge. Didn't look like Alford liked it too much. He's trying to take him off the base. But here comes the pitch from Barrick. Strike one, 3-1 three, one count now. Two away, base is juiced. Sadler, no doubt, will look to be aggressive here. Center fielder, shading a little bit towards right field. Left fielder is in. That's going to be ball four walk. 
One run will score for the Wildcats. And next up is going to be the DH. Pardon me, right fielder, Boy Blinkenberg. Blankenberg hitting 250 on the year, one RBI himself. Looking to get his first big hit of the season. The lefty, perfect for this win situation. Here comes the pitch. That's a strike one. Paint in the inside corner. So one run so far has scored here in the bottom of the first inning. No balls, one strike, two away. Wildcats now on top of the Warren East Raiders. Still really nice, 65 degrees outside even with the wind. Here's the pitch. That's going to be foul ball over the left field wall. He could have straightened that one out just a little bit more. That would have been a no doubt base hit. 0-2 count now. Got to be aggressive here at the plate. From the stretch is Barrick. Ball high. Base is still loaded. Wind still whipping. Still a beautiful evening for baseball. Boy, the lefty. Nice low batting stance. Here comes the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. Wildcats strand three, but put one on the board there. We're going to head into the top of the second inning. Wildcats with a lead. We'll see what Link can do with it. You're listening to 92.3 WFKN. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on these Warren East Raiders. I'm Cody Schuler, and you're listening to 92.3 WFKN, some Wildcat baseball coming at you. And the Wildcats are sitting atop the scoreboard right now, one to nothing heading into the second inning. A bases loaded walk by Aiden Barrick. One scores for the Wildcats. And the DH for the Raiders is up here, right here. William Alexander. Alexander, the lefty, stepping into the box. Alexander hitting 240 on the year with four RBIs himself. Stands tall in the box. That's going to be a hopper right at Brevin Scott. Scott picks it up, fields it cleanly over to Alford for out number one. Tell you what. They continue hitting them at Scott, and they're going to continue getting out. Not a whole lot that's real tough about that. The Murray State signee has been a wall there at second base. Next up, right fielder number 15, Andrew Barbalus, also a lefty. Looks at ball one go by from Gavin Link. Marvelous fouls one off. Look possibly be his foot there. Marvelous only appeared in three games as a hitter so far. One RBI. One walk. One stolen base. But 
Other than that, not a whole lot to account for. Here's the pitch. Ball high and outside. 2-1 count now, one away here in the top of the second inning. Wildcats on board, one to nothing. Here's the pitch from Link. Paints the outside corner there for strike two. Gavin liked that one. Here's the windup and the pitch. Swung on and wow. missed. Ring him up and sit him down for out number two. Gavin throwing darts out there so far, painting the corners. Wildcats got it around the horn. And back to Link. Next up, number eight, Michael Ford, first pitch swinging. Hopper right up to Delk and throws it away past. Oh, we got him. Oh, going to be a play at second. And the runner is safe. Wow. Lots of recap there. Micah Ford, the, the center fielder for the Warren East Raiders, first pitch swinging, sends a slow hopper up to shortstop Delk. Delk misses first base, and Ford overruns it at first base and keeps on turning towards second. And Lane Alford, our first baseman, couldn't quite get there in time. And then the throw is late. And so that's a – Error on our first baseman. It's going to go for an E3 to Alford. Possibly an E6 to Delk. I'm not sure how we'll score that. E6, I'm being told, by the missed throw from Delk. Runner in scoring position. An attempt to pick off, but he is safe. Great look there from Link. You can see the work he's put in. Quicker pickoff now. At the plate now is no, is the first baseman, number 24, Grant White. You hear the Ric Flair woos coming in from the Franklin Simpson fans. They wanted a strike there. 1-1 one, one count now, two away. Runner in scoring position for Warren East. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. That one a little bit low in the dirt. Link a great outing so far from the bump. Checks the runner. Checks him again. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Fastball got away from him just a little bit there. Banton. Fantastic voice behind the plate so far for the Wildcats this season. Last season as well. That's a strike. 3-2 count now. Full. Full count now. Let's see what White's going to do from the batter's box. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Swung off foul ball down the fir first baseline. <coughs> Warney's coach picks it up. Fires back <laughs> to Link at the mound. Still full count. Two away. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's a foul ball into the net. White is battling with Link. I still can't get past the smell of the hot dogs flying in here tonight. All my teammates here nodding in it agreeably. That's going to be a ball for a walk. Couldn't tell if that was a slider or a, or a fastball with a lot of movement on it. Next up for the Raiders is going to be number one, Carter Bassett, second baseman for the Raiders. Are we gonna hit? Foul ball for strike one. The Raiders threatening, still with a runner in scoring position. Now with the runner on first as well. The 
set with that front leg kicked back. Here's the pitch. That is going to be right at Alexander. Just moves about three feet to his right for out number three. Link looking good so far from the mound to get out of that one. Wildcats lead one to nothing heading into the bottom of the second. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball live on 92.3 WFKN. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders. I'm Cody Schuler, and you are listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. You can also find us on 923WFKN.com and watch the game on Franklin Simpson Channel 9 streaming on Facebook. I surely appreciate you joining us tonight for this Wildcat Baseball game. We're heading into the bottom of the second inning. Wildcats on top, leading one to nothing. A a bases loaded walk there in the bottom of the first inning. Put one on the board for the Wildcats. And we're going to come back with Aiden Barrick back on the bump. The left-hander for Warren East. And the left fielder for the Wildcats, number 16, Cody Alexander, going to step into the box. Been a fun game so far. Hasn't. Fun doesn't always equal runs, but this has been an exciting one. Swung on and missed. First pitch swinging is Alexander. Alexander hitting 231 on the year. Two stolen bases himself. So if he gets on base, he's a he's a threat to move. Stands tall in the box. Ball one, low and inside, one one count now. Alexander, a tall young man as is, looks like he stands probably about six foot four. Not a whole lot of knees bent in his bat batting stance. Here's the pitch. Ball high. The Wildcats team out there in their dugout, they are very vocal tonight. These boys are on it. I'll just say it, they're loud. Boys are loud tonight. Here's the pitch. Takes another ball. <laughs> and they are just... They are rallying down there. They're having some fun here tonight. Three balls, one strike to Alexander. Here's Barrick with the pitch. That's Good. ball four. Alexander is going to take the walk. Next up for the Wildcats, number five. Next up for the Wildcats is center fielder, number five, the senior, Hunter Jones. Takes the signal from Coach Will Height. Right-hander Jones steps into the box. Barrick now from the stretch again. Show and bunt. Fumbled just a little bit there from the catcher, Hinton. Alexander thought about taking off, but decided to stay. Jones looking at the his armband. Looks like it's going to be bunt again as he chokes up. Oh, and now we're in a pickoff. Here comes the pickle. And Alexander is going to be safe at second base. They throw it away. Grant White, the first baseman, had ran back to cover second base as somebody followed back around him. And he dropped the ball as Alexander was going to slide. Not the, not the best way you want to 
make it to second base there. If you're Alexander caught in the pickle, that 99% of the time is not going to end well. But White, thankfully for the Wildcats, drops the ball. 1-0 count now back to Jones here in the batter's box. Let's see if he swings away or shows bunt. Showing bunt again. Lays it down to Barrick, and he's going to try the play at third base, and he is safe. And Jones is going to make all the way around to second base as nobody was covering second, and the Wildcats are fired up. As we're going to head into the top of the lineup with shortstop sophomore number seven, Brady Delk. Delk with the one hit so far that the Wildcats have had in this game. Wildcats officially threatening with two on, none away. Let's see if they can make more out of it this, this inning than what they did there in the bottom of the first. Let's find some green grass, young man. Here's the pitch. Ball low. It's away from the catcher, and Alexander is going to score on the wild pitch, and Jones is going to move on over to third. Great job there by Alexander to heads up, be ready to take off as Jones as well, ready to take off. Good base running from the Wildcats. 1-0 count now, none away. One has scored here. Here's the pitch. Paints the outside edge of the plate there with a fastball. 1-1 one, one count now. Wildcats on top, two to nothing. Hunter Jones sitting at third base, plenty of speed. Breaking ball there, just a bit outside there from Barrick. 2-1 count. Delk back into the box. Sets. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be low and outside, and it is away from Hinton, and another run will score. Well, we'll take them how we can get them. Two runs on two wild pitches for the Wildcats so far. A bases loaded walk on the other one. And now we're looking at a 3-1 count to the top of the lineup. Shortstop Brady Delk with none away. Nobody on any longer. And that's going to be another walk from Barrick. Next up for the Wildcats, number 20, Griff Banton. Warren East with the bullpen warming up. You wonder how much longer Sanford's going to up, oh, and here he comes. Number 20, Griff Banton, the catcher for the Wildcats, going to talk to Coach Will Height see exactly what the plan will be. There's plenty of movement here in the field for Warren East. We're going to give them a moment to warm up. Wildcats on top here in the bottom of the second, three to nothing. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. Kendra, you can go for a full minute if you want. You see what number he is? Pitch number yeah. 28. 28. Let's see. 28 is Briggs Young. All right. New pitcher for the Raiders. Number 28, Briggs Young. Got it twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders out of Bowling Green. I'm Cody Schuler, and you're listening to 92.3 WFKN. Let's play a little bit of catch up here. We're sitting in the bottom of the second inning, and Warren East has just had a pitching change. Aiden Barrick was having some control issues out there on the mound, has yet to give up an RBI, but Wildcats are still leading three to nothing. A bases loaded walk in the bottom of the first, followed up by two wild pitch runs that it scored after that. Only given up one hit so far, and that was the very first batter of the game. Brady Delk knocked one of out and found some green grass into shallow center field. But other than that, just been some control issues for the young man. Now we're going to move on to freshman Briggs Young, number 28. Okay, it looks like we've had a, another position change. We're going to move to Micah Ford from center field. He's going to be catching now. Briggs Young has appeared in four games, pitched five innings, no earned runs, given up two hits, and it looks like number three, Aiden Barrick, is headed out to center field, the lefty. That's a rocket out to left center field. Is that ball going to hit the wall or is it going to get out of here? Oh, it's on the warning track. Banton with an absolute rocket. Oh, and Delk is going to go all the way from first to third and a stand-up double for number 20, the junior Griff Banton. Lifted it out of here and the wind just set it down. Any other night, that ball would have been out of here. Oh, you got to hate the wind right now if you're Griff Banton. You got to say, goodness, what do I got to do to get one out of this ballpark? Two seasons, and we haven't seen one lifted out of here yet, but he got every bit of that baseball. Next up, second baseman number eight, Brevin Scott. Here's the pitch. That's going to be in there for strike one. Two on now in scoring position for the Wildcats, leading three to nothing with nobody out, 0-1 count. To Brevin Scott. Freshman versus senior here. Let's see how it goes. A little bit high and inside. You wonder how much pitching Warren East has in the tank for tonight after this past weekend. Here's the pitch. Foul ball to Scott. Looked like he was Sitting on something else there. Didn't quite get around on that one too quickly. Briggs with a – that's going to be another foul ball down the first baseline. One-two count, none away, two on. Again, an absolute rocket from Griff Banton there to move the runners. Young sets. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a ball low to Scott. 2-2 two, two count. And now catching, Micah Ford wants to talk it over with his freshman pitcher. And uh, home plate umpire Don Johnson, He's, I think he's tired of talking. He nearly followed the catcher right back out there, trying to move this one along. We're 10 after 6 here in the evening, 63 degrees still outside. Overcast evening. Young sets. Here's the pitch. That's nice going to be up the middle, going to score two runs. Oh, no, no, no. He trips rounding third base. Delk scores. And yet number nine for the Wildcats trips up. Peyton Brown trips coming around third base. <clears throat> Hitting on his legs there. Pumping up his senior buddy, Scott, but unhappy with himself out there on third base. Trip coming around third. Wildcats now lead it four to nothing. Micah Ford, the catcher for the Raiders. Calling out signals. Still none away here in the bottom of the second. 
Scott with a big lead over at first base. Here's the pitch. That's hammered out to center field. That's back, 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 back. It is out of here. Home run, Wildcats. Number six, Braxton Jenkins. That ball has been voted off the island, ladies and gentlemen. The first home run in two seasons for the Wildcats here at Greg Shelton Field to straight away center. That thing was smashed. Next up for the Wildcats, number three, Lane Alford. A three-run jack. Strike one to Alford. Welcome to the show, Braxton Jenkins. Ball one down in the dirt to Lane Alford. That win, that thing might have gone. What are we out there to center field? It's 338 to the deep part of left. So we're looking about 400 feet, and that thing cleared the tall wall out in dead center field. The blue monster, the blue monster as it is known. One, two count now. Get out of here. Foul ball to Alford. Still no outs. The Wildcats have hung six runs here in the bottom of the second inning, leading seven to nothing. They come out here swinging. Swung on and missed for strike three to Alford. For out number one. Here in the bottom of the second. Next up, third baseman number one, Garrett Sadler. I don't know if you could say that Briggs Young could pitch himself out of this jam or not, considering that they've just hung three more. Throw strike one. Sadler, 0-1 count, one away. Here in the bottom of the second, Wildcats leading seven to nothing. Just gave a, a three-run jack, I'm sure you. That thing is hammered out to left field. Gets underneath it, center fielder. Aiden Barrett calls off his left fielder, Maddox Terrence, for out number two. Next up for the Wildcats, number 18, Boy Blankenberg. Next up's going to be number 18, right fielder, Boy Blankenberg. The lefty is Blankenberg. Ball high and outside to Blankenberg. Sets is young. It's going to be just a bit outside. 2-0 count now. Two away here in the bottom of the second. It's going to be popped up. Are they going to get there? Nope. Foul ball. Out to left field. Maddox Terrence gave a whole lot of chase there. Great effort. Just unable to get there. Jenkins was just hitting 269 on the year. Seven hits through seven games, five RPIs. Well, he can have three more to that column now. 3 1 count now to Blankenberg. Two outs. Here's the pitch. That thing is rocketed out to right field, and right fielder Andrew Barbalis is underneath it for out number three. Tell you what, the Wildcats, they go down now with three outs, but not before dishing out six runs across the plate, the plate highlighted by an absolute monster shot across the blue monster out to center field 
by number six, the DH, Braxton Jenkins. Wildcats leading 7 to nothing. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKM. Kendra, I know we're still on the uh, Franklin Simpson Channel 9, and they can hear me talking about this right now. But I'm still going to tell you, that was the most exciting thing that's happened here in two seasons was seeing that absolute monster shot. I mean, straight away center field. Like the dude almost hit the American flag that's sitting out there. It really was. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders. I'm Cody Schuler, and you're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We surely appreciate your time. We're joining the top of the third inning right now with the Wildcats on top, 7 to nothing. Aiden Barrick, who started this game from the bump for the Raiders, is now at center field, had some control issues pitching. Could not get it straightened out. And so he went out to center after two wild pitch runs and a bases loaded walk. And then the monster shot of the game, the DH, Braxton Jenkins for the Wildcats, hit an absolute moonshot out to center field, straight away center. And Wildcats are now on top, 7-0. to zero against Warren East. Warren East had a great year so far. Appears that they just used up all their pitching over this past weekend's tournament. Gavin Link now here to Aiden Barrick. 2-2 count now, none away. Aiden Barrick, the lefty, leading off here at the top of the third for the Blue Raiders. Link looking great so far, by the way. Here's the pitch. That thing's lifted out to shallow center. Jones calls everybody off for out number one. The Raiders get up there, and, and they don't waste a lot of time. Coach Sanford for the Raiders, you can tell coaching his young men to swing the bat. Next up is going to be number five, Brendan Bratcher, right-hander. Stunned by the breaking ball. A really nice curveball coming from Gavin Link there for strike one. Wind up, pitch, and he went around for strike two. Tried to lay off of it, but could not do it. Bratcher hitting 190 on the year. Down in the dirt that time. Ball one. One, two count now, one away. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Foul ball. Still one, two count now to Bratcher. Bratcher threw 21 at bats, just four hits, two RBI on the year. That's a kind of set him up and sit him down for sure. Right three and out number two. Great piece of pitching there from Link. Had Bratcher off balance, guessing at what he was going to throw. And that big hanging curveball for strike one from that point forward, he was guessing. Next up for the Raiders, it's going to be – Left fielder, number 21, Maddox Terrence. And he's string it, swinging for strike one. Two away now in the top of the third. Here's the windup and the pitch. Yep. And he went around for strike two. That one was down in the dirt. 
Looked like he was sitting on curveball himself. Here's the windup and the pitch. Foul ball. O2 count now. Two away. Here's the wind up. And the pitch. Swung on for strike three to end the inning. Great piece of pitching there. Two strikeouts for Gavin Link. And his catcher, Griff Banton, is fired up on his behalf, letting him know about it. Link is hearing it from the dugout. Great piece of pitching there by the young man. Wildcats on top, heading into the bottom of the third, 7 to nothing. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders. We are heading into the bottom of the third inning here with the Wildcats on top, seven to nothing. Highlighted by a moonshot from the DH. Braxton Jenkins to straightaway center field. The first home run here in two seasons. Congratulations, young man, on that. Picking up the bat at bat here from Alexander. He's down 0-2 in the count to the freshman pitcher, Briggs Young. Young trying to get it going here. Misses high and outside that time, trying to get Alexander to chase. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. I'm Cody Schuler. Thank you for joining us this evening. We appreciate your time and your support of Wildcat Baseball. Swung on, and that's going to be into the gap there. Brendan Bratcher cannot pick it up and fire it off in time. That's going to be an infield single for Cody Alexander. Next up is going to be number five, the center fielder, Hunter Jones. That ball just found enough of the gap between short and third. Bratcher unable to get to it in time. He didn't even attempt to fire it over to first base. That's going to go in there for strike one. Threw a curveball, and it was almost as if the wind knocked that ball down. That was a wild sight to see. He didn't have a hole on on that pitch. It was a big hanging curveball, and it was almost like the wind just blew right at the time he was throwing it, and it, it was like it just knocked it down out of thin air. That was wild. Attempts to pick off, and Alexander's safe over at first. Let's see if Hunter Jones can keep this thing going. Sure that the Wildcats would love nothing more than to show and bunt, lays it down. Young picks it up, toss it over to first for the easy out. And Alexander moves on up to second. Next up for the Wildcats, a little seven. bit of small ball so far has been working for the Wildcats. Top of the lineup is off here for the shortstop, number seven, Brady Delk. As we said earlier in the broadcast, Delk hitting 286 on the year. Fakes the pickoff. Does the freshman Young trying to keep Alexander honest back there at second base. 
All kinds of rallies still coming out of that Wildcat dugout. These boys are pumped up tonight. That's going to go in for ball one. One away. Runner on scoring position. It is 6.27 in the evening. Beautiful evening for baseball. Here's pitch. That's going to be a little bit high and inside. Two balls, no strikes. None away. Wildcats on top. Seven to nothing here in the bottom of the third inning. Swung on. That's going to be right up the middle. And Bratcher's not going to make it. And Alexander is going to stop. Ooh. Great throw in there from the center fielder, the starting pitcher, Aiden Barrick. Now batting for the Wildcats, number 20, Griff Banton. He picked it up there, fired it in towards home. Yeah, hold up, no. Hit the catcher there mm -hmm. hold up. on the one hop. Next up is going to be the catcher, number 20, Griff Banton. Michael Ford, the catcher for the Raiders, is sending all the signals out to his teammates here. Banton with a Big time stand up double last inning. Runners on the corners now. Here's the pitch. Looks strike one. Oh, I bet Griff wishes he could have that one back. Trying to make this young man, Briggs Young, pitch to him a little bit. 0 1, one away. Runners on the corners for the Wildcats. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Popped up and over the nets. Home plate umpire, Don Johnson, asking for some new baseballs. 0-2 count now. Young sets, checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for the strikeout. Young gets his first strikeout of the game. Next up for the Ford Wildcats, number eight, Scott. calling out more signals to his teammates, probably prefer, preparing them for the double steal. Next up for the Wildcats is second baseman number eight, Brevin Scott. Scott checking his arm man, armband, seeing what Coach Wilhite is looking for him to do. Two away here, now in the bottom of the third. Wildcats still on top, seven to nothing. That ball is low and away. Nearly gets away from catcher Michael Ford for the Raiders. Able to stay in front of it. Young checks the signal. He likes it from the stretch. Called strike one. 1-1 one, one count now, two away. Catcher Ford. Good job by him. That ball looked like it was a bit outside, but framed that pitch real nice and Don Johnson went along with it. Setting up a little bit outside as Ford, and he throws it inside. Oh, and they call strike two in there. Ball looked a little bit high and inside, but called strike two. Now we're going to see Scott get in there and be aggressive, see if he can. Pile on any runs. That's going to be ball low and outside. And Brady Delk scoots on down to second base. Now we got two in scoring position. 2-2 two, two count, two away, two on. Bottom of the third. Wildcats on top, 7-0 in this one. Young likes the, likes the call. Here's the pitch. And that one's going to be right at the third base. Well, let's see if he can beat out Scott. Yeah. And the pitch is, the throw is in the dirt. Two runs will score. Gets away from Grant White. And Brevin Scott is safe over at first. The third baseman, Matthew, Matthew Escalera, could not pick it up and fire it over there in time and threw it down in the dirt at Grant White.
Don't know if that's going to be a E5 or E3. But yet another error assessed to Warren East. That's going to be a high fly ball out to shallow right. And the right fielder, number 15, Andrew Barbalus, has got it for out number three. Well, Wildcats put two more on the board. Now leading it nine to nothing. Threatening to run rule the Warren East Raiders here at home at Greg Shelton Field. You're listening to 92.3 WFKN. Backstory now to tell. Leading off for the Raiders in the top of the fourth, number seven, Caven Hinton. Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East. Raiders. I am Cody Schuler, and you're listening to 92.3 WFKN. You can also find us live on 923WFKN.com and watch the game on Franklin Simpson Channel 9 streaming on Facebook. We appreciate you joining us for Wildcat Baseball here tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast. We appreciate all of you. Next up to bat for Warren East is going to be number 7, Caven Hinton. Hinton hits a foul ball down third baseline there. Looking at an 0-2 count now. Gavin Link. Been superb from the bump. Wildcats on top now here in the top of the fourth inning, 9-0. This thing has been highlighted by a straightaway to center field home run, the first home run here in two years by DH number six, Braxton Jenkins. An absolute moonshot out there to center field by that young man. His first home run of the season, the first home run for the Wildcats of the season. And the Wildcats lead it nine to nothing. They have touched up the Raiders pitchers here. Looking at a one-two count now. As that one gets away from Link. Link with the wind up. Here's the pitch. That ball swung on, and that's going to be, it looks like it's going foul. Foul, oh, Alford, oh, he can't make the Willie Mays catch. Great effort there by first baseman Lane Alford to track that one. Got his glove on it, but just could not bring it in. Hinton back up to bat now, still looking at a one-two count. The wind absolutely still a factor here this evening. Blowing heavy from left to right. Another foul ball. That one bounced off the net hard enough where Banton just caught it himself and fires it back to Link. Here's the pitch. That one, we're going to see if Delk can get to it. He fields it cleanly and fires it over to Alford for out number one. Great play there from Brady Delk, moving from right to left. He covered a whole lot of ground there to make that play. Next up, it's going to be the DH for the Raiders, number 25, William Alexander, the lefty. One away here now in the top of the fourth. Alexander standing tall. Takes strike one, look it. You, 
can tell he's got a little bit of Ken Griffey Jr. to his stance there. Ball one, low it away. Stands tall. When the bat is up on his shoulder, he, he kind of holds it down in a little bit of a circle motion. Strike two. Fastball from Gavin Link. Looking to not give Alexander enough time to get it off his shoulder. Now it's a little bit more straight up. He appears to be more ready now that he's got two strikes. Foul ball. Alexander looking to be a bit more aggressive now. Maybe that's why he's got the bat off his shoulder. Here's the windup and the pitch. Curveball just a bit low and outside. The crowd wanted that one. 2-2 two, two count now to Alexander. One away here in the top of the fourth. Wildcats leading 9 to nothing. Strike three, ring him up and set him down. Another strikeout for Link. And around the horn it went. Next up is going to be right fielder number 15, Andrew Barbalis. A one-hit shutout so far for Link. Here's the pitch. A little bit low and away. Looking strong so far from the, from the mound. Barbalis, a lefty. It's played well so far for the Raiders out in right field. That one paints the corner for strike one. One one count now, two away. I think we'll see plenty of cuts now from Warren East. Hanging curveball just a bit outside. Two one. Here's the pitch. Low and in the dirt just a bit. 3-1 count to Barbalist now. One walk so far in the game for Link. Swung on. And, whoo, almost got his first base coach. Jammed him in just a little bit. 3-2, two, two away. Full count. Let's see what Link has got in store for Barbalus. If he tries to blow one by him or, or fool him with a curve. Here's the pitch. Got him. And that is some good looking. Woo! Oh, I thought he called him out, but a little bit high of a pitch there. I think everybody here at the, the home field advantage thought that that was a nice looking pitch. Instead, it's called ball four. Barbalus draws the walk. Next up is now catcher Micah Ford. Attempts to pick off. Barbalus is safe over there at first. Checks the runner. From the stretch is Link. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Can we get to it? Can we get to it? Oh, and just foul. Catcher, Griff Banton gave chase. Unable to quite make it there. Quick out of the stance. That's what they call in baseball the pop. Banton's got plenty of pop out of this stance. Here's the pitch. Frames that one nicely for strike two. 0 2 count, two away. Here we are. Top of the fourth. 9 0 ball game. And ring them up and sit them down for strikeout number two of the inning. Back to back innings with two strikeouts each. I believe that's five now for the game for Link. And here we are heading into the bottom of the fourth inning. Wildcats leading 9 0. Looking to see if we can put this one away and put it to bed early tonight. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN.
Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are blowing out the Blue Raiders of Warren East. And leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning is going to be first baseman number three, Lane Alford. Heading into the bottom of the fourth here, Wildcats on top, nine to nothing. Highlighted by that moonshot to straightaway center field by D.H. Braxton Jenkins. Alford takes strike one here in the bottom of the fourth. If the Wildcats could put one on the board here, this would go away quickly. And, oh, a base hit just past shortstop. And, oh, we're going to get a stand-up double. At least that's going all the way to the wall. Great job by Alford to be on his horse. And I'll tell you what, we got a little bit of backstory here as – Third baseman, number one, Garrett Sadler, the right-hander, walks up to the batter's box. Turns out that Warren E. spent a whole lot of time in the home dugout from this past weekend, making a whole lot of noise. And now, looks like our Franklin Simpson Wildcats might be getting a little bit of payback. Hence all the noise coming from that dugout. You got, you, you got to love kids. They're, they're, they they got memories like elephants when it comes to things like that. They're not going to let that get past them whatsoever. <laughs> Takes ball one high. Alford out there. Scoring position. Now on second base. Special thank you to our concession stands down here. They just brought me a cheeseburger. I appreciate that. Takes ball too high and inside to Sadler. Hey, we're in the fourth inning here. Let's do a little bit of a Wildcat spotlight. And tonight, I just want to hit all of our staff members, employees, everybody a part of Simpson County Schools. These young men, everybody here at these ball games that makes things like this possible, we appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for all the time and effort that you spend in the classroom here manicuring this field as Sadler takes ball three. 3-0 three count now, none away. Wildcats on top, nine to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth. But we appreciate our staff members and everybody who makes fun things like this possible for these young men. We appreciate you. Thank you. Strike one. 3-1 count now to Sadler. Let's see if Garrett can find some green grass. And almost attempted the pickoff, but Alford was ready for it that time. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he hits Sadler. Sadler made, made not much of an attempt to get out of the way, but tell you what, here comes Sanford. To, he wants to talk about it with somebody. It looks like he's going to talk it over with his freshman pitcher. Don't know if we're going to have a pitching change or not. But sure enough, here comes the left fielder. It's going to be number 21. Maddox Terrence. We're going to step away and give Maddox about a minute here to warm up. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball up 9 to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth inning with a runner in scoring position on 92-3 WFKN. I'm going to take a bite of this cheeseburger. I apologize ahead of time for my biting and chewing sounds. All needed, I promise.
Welcome back to Greg Shelton Field at Franklin Simpson High School as our Franklin Simpson Wildcats are taking on the Warren East Raiders. I'm Cody Schuler, and you're listening to 92.3 WFKN. You can also find us live on 923WFKN.com and watch the game on Franklin Simpson Channel 9 streaming on Facebook. We appreciate you joining us for some Wildcat baseball this evening. We are here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Wildcats on top, 9 to nothing. 9 to nothing. And Warren East has just had their second pitching change of the game. Now on the bump for the Raiders is number 21, Maddox Terrence. He's going to be oh throwing his first one in the dirt. And we're going to move around from first and second to second and third. Number 18, right fielder Boy Blankenberg is up to bat, the lefty, as he watches ball one go on by. 1-0 count, none away. Wildcats threatening again. That one's a little low and in the dirt. Terrence, a left-handed pitcher also. Plenty of lefties on Warren East. Here's the pitch. A little bit outside there. You got to give that one to, to to catcher for the Raiders, Michael Ford. He he did what he could there to try to frame that thing in just a little bit, but it was about you know ten inches too far off the plate. And that's going to be a first batter walk for Terrence for Maddox Terrence. Bases juice now is left fielder number sixteen, Cody Alexander, comes up to hit, and let's see. If Cody can put this thing away. Tell you what, there's three Cody's right here. We got Will Cody in the morning, C-O-T-Y. We got Cody Schuler on the mic with you right now, C-O-D-Y. And now we've got Cody Alexander for the Wildcats, left fielder, K-O-D-Y. Three Cody's, three different names. Here's the pitch. That's going to be ball one low. 1-1 one, one count now, none away, base is juiced here in the bottom of the fourth. 9-0 ball game. 6.50 in the evening. Wind still whipping out there, still holding steady at 62 degrees. We are playing underneath the lights. Here's the pitch. Woo, fired in there was Maddox, but a little too high and inside. For ball two. Matt, Maddox Terrence can certainly... Bring the heat, it appears. Ball down in the dirt for ball three. Three one count now. The rally coming in out of the Wildcat dugout. Loud and proud tonight. And here it comes again. Here's the pitch. Woo, strike two. Full count, none away, bases juiced. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Good job being aggressive there, Alexander. Let's see if he can turn on one. Wind really pushing right now. Foul ball. We have certainly had our fair share of foul balls here tonight. Here's the pitch. That. And the home plate umpire rings him up on that one for a strikeout for Maddox Terrence. As Alexander heads back to the dugout. Next up, number five, center fielder Hunter Jones. Base is still juiced. as Jones takes strike one. 0-1 oh, one count, one away. Wildcats just need to get one across the plate here. Time out for Jones. Composing himself just a little bit. Looking to make something happen here. Here's the pitch. And he hits Jones. 
A run will score. I thought he hit Jones. Looked like it from my perspective. But I guess not. It certainly looked like it, but Hunter's just going right back up there. One run still scored either way. Ball got away from him. 10-0 ball game now. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. 1-2 count now. One away. Wildcats on top. 10 to nothing after the after the score on the wild pitch from Maddox Terrence. Terrence sets. Here's the pitch. Another ball low. 2-2 two, two count now. The pressure will be on Warren East now heading into the top of the fifth to put some runs on the board. That one's out to center. Is it going to get down? And it does. Barrick bobbles it. And two more runs will score. Great piece of hitting there by Hunter Jones. And his dugout is showing their appreciation. Wildcats on top now 12-0. As we head back to the top of the lineup for super sophomore shortstop Brady Delk. Wind just pounding in here right now. Here's the pitch. High and outside. Ford tempted the pick off over to Jones, but not even close. Ford appears to be a team leader here for the Raiders. High and inside. Ford very vocal behind the plate. Has shown off some arm talent from when he was in center field. Here's the pitch. 2-1 count now as Delk takes a strike. Just one away here in the top of the fifth. Bottom of the fourth, excuse me. Another ball. 3-1 count. Raiders have just struggled from the mound thus far. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Going to be 3-2 count. Full count, one on, one away. Wildcats on top, 12-0. Not much of a barn burner here tonight, but it's been a fun one. Had our first home run. Here's the pitch. That one's lifted out to left field. Is it going to get? Oh, and it is caught by the left fielder. Back to first base goes Hunter Jones. Next up for the Wildcats is going to be Catcher number 20, Griff Bant. Two away now for the Raiders. Terrence sets. Here's the pitch. Get down there. Get That's down there. a chopper going to go just foul. Terrence. Was looking at that ball spin, 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 and whole crowd here was hoping it would die here on the inside part of the field, but not enough. Ball bounced straight down, hit just in front of the plate, bounced it up high about 15 foot. Had a load of spin on it, and hopped just foul, probably about. Good 10, 12 inches. 0-1 oh, count, two away, one on. Here's the pitch. Just outside, attempts to pick off again, does Ford. Banton has helped out his average some here tonight, hitting 368 so far on the year. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike two. 
One two count, two away. Raiders trying to get out of this one. They've given up one run in the first, six in the second, two in the third, and so far three. That's going to be a wild pitch, and Jones is going to advance on down to second. That one got way away from Terrence that time. That one would have been three feet behind a left-handed hitter. Mind you, if something Randy Johnson would have been throwing in the late 90s, a little something he would have called Mr. Snappy. Here's the pitch. Another high and outside. Full count now to Ben. Let's see if he gets something good to swing at. 3-2 count, two away. Runner in scoring position yet again. 12-0 ball game here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. High and outside, he walks it. Next up going to be second baseman number eight, Brevin Scott. Now batting for the Wildcats, number eight, Brevin Scott. This ball game seemingly already way out of reach. But the Murray State signee looking to do something with this at bat. I can promise you that. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Some heat on that one. 0-1 count to Scott. High heat that was. Almost gave a tomahawk swing at that one. Sets to Terrence. Here's the pitch. Ball low. 1-1 count now. Into the box. Terrence likes the signal. Here's the pitch. High heat there. 2-1 count to Scott. Not seeing any stats here so far for, for Terrence. Might be his first outing so far, pitching for the Raiders. 3-1 count now to Scott as he takes another ball. Here's the pitch. Another high one as he walks him again. Base is juiced. Ford wants to talk it over with his pitcher. And now here comes the hammer. One home run so far in this one, the DH, Braxton Jenkins. And let's see if he's going to be swinging for the fences on this one. They're still talking it over at the mound as Ford. Home plate umpire Don Johnson gets that one broken up and everybody back to playing ball. But I'll tell you what. I wouldn't want to be looking at Braxton Jenkins coming up to bat right now either after hitting that monster to straightaway center. He is sitting back and, oh, he throws inside. He threw it at him a bit there. Tell you what, I don't know with the way that our Wildcats have been cheering over in our dugout if I'd want to throw at this kid. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Oh, he took a good cut, but that one's going foul. Tell you what, you can feel some intensity right now. It's a 12 to nothing ball game, but I don't think Jenkins cares. He's out here wanting to hit another one. The wind whipping out there. Here's the pitch. That one's going high and outside. 2 1 count, two away. Base is juiced. Jenkins just, I, I don't think he's moved out of the batter's box other than that foul ball. That one out. It's going to right field. Let's see if it's going to get the gap, and it does. One run will score. Two runs will score. And we're going to hold up at second and third. A stand-up two-run double for Braxton Jenkins. Is that five or six RBI so far on the night? I think that might be six. Six RBIs on the evening. 
And Sanford wants to talk it over with number three, the first baseman, Lane Alford, coming to the mound. We're going to have ourselves another pitching change here for Warren East as Wildcats go up 14 to nothing. Braxton Jenkins, you, sir, are him tonight. That bat has come around and found every lace on the baseball. Huge hits. We're going to see a pitching change here for the Wildcat, for the Raiders, excuse me. Pitching change for the Raiders. For Brody Kiln. Sophomore. Number 20, Brody no. Brody is yet to appear in a game pitching so far based on the stats that I'm looking at. Only appeared in one game as a hitter. Right-hander. Sophomore. We'll see if he can come in here and get this final out for, for Warren East. I'm going to stick with you while he's warming up. Let's just have a little bit of review just for fun. Just for funsies, let's let's see what happened. First inning, bases loaded, walk to score one. Second inning, there was two runs that scored on on wild pitches, while four came in on hits. Then in the third, we scored two more. That made this game nine to nothing. Then so far here in the bottom of the fourth, we've scored five more. We just had a two-run shot. Made it all the way to the wall. The hero from the box so far has been D.H. Braxton Jenkins. But I'll tell you what, it hasn't gone unnoticed to me. Our young man from the mound has given up a one-hit shutout. Gavin Link from the mound. From a very dangerous from the batter's box, Warren East team. Aiden Barrick. Not done much, hitting 467 with two home runs on the year. Left fielder Maddox Terrence hitting 280. And a whole lot more of that throughout their lineup. These guys are not afraid to hit the ball, but Link has just kept them from it. Here comes Big Lane Alford into the batter's box now with two on in scoring position, two away. Here's the pitch. Keown low and away on his first pitch. Sophomore. Coming on here in cleanup duty, you got to feel for the young man. Not an easy spot to be in to come in and pitch as a relief pitcher. You're trying to get one out and get out of this one when you're down 14 to 0. Not easy. Here's the pitch. Ford takes ball too high and it fakes the pickoff throw down to second. Both runners. Scott and Jenkins get back to the bags. Keown checks the runners, and here's the pitch. Now it's going to be low and away for ball three. Just doing what they can to remain in this one, I guess, just defensively. It's been a tough night for the Raiders. You, I mean, you give up a home run, that's tough for any pitcher throughout high school baseball. He's going to walk them on four straight pitches. Bases juice now with number one, Garrett Sadler, coming up to bat. Next up for the Wildcats, number one, Garrett Sadler. Garrett had a – was hit by a pitch, I believe, to, to start this inning. We'll see if – I'm sure he's going to make Keown pitch to him. There you go. <laughs> Sadler has to duck that one. It goes over the top of his head. Glove saved there by Micah Ford, catcher for the Raiders. So 1 0 count, two away. Base is juiced. Let's see if Sadler's swinging at all. That one's going low and away. I'd say that Sadler's probably just going to be taken. That's six straight balls from Keown. Kicks the dirt, unhappy with himself. A tough, tough outing here so far for the Raiders. 2 0 count. Here's the pitch. Strike one there. Tempts the pick off. Man.
maybe some heat lightning out in the distance. So let's see if we can get this one in. Swung on, foul ball, going to be too far foul for Grant White to get to it. Two, two count, two away. All right, Garrett. Here's the pitch. Popped up, and it's going to be too far foul as well. Let's see if we can get this one in before the weather gets too close. Looks like we're weather sitting out in Clarksville right now, making its way this direction. My landscaping could use it. I'm not mad about it. Here's the pitch. Ball three from Keown. Wind just. I'm sorry. I know that sounds like a broken record to all of you out in listening to this one, but it, it just can't be understated. The wind, the way that it is, more than likely had some sort of effect. Garrett staying alive. Gets a late cut in on that one and fouls it off. Full count, two away. While sitting here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Wildcats on top of Warren East, 14-0 to at 7.09 in the evening. Here's the pitch. That one is going to be a base hit. Runners will score. There's one. And that's the ball game, folks. As the Wildcats go up 15-0 to zero and win this one early, bottom of the fourth. Star of this ball game, DH number six, Braxton Jenkins. With a home run, a stand-up double, six total RBI. Congratulations to Coach Will Height. Congratulations to Gavin Link from the mound, throwing a one-hit shutout through four innings. Just an all-around great game from our Franklin Simpson Wildcats. They showed it all tonight. They've given us something to look forward to for the rest of this season. And just a great game. Thank you all so much. My name is Cody Schuler. You've been listening to Wildcat Baseball on 92.3 WFKN. Also listening live on 